Hi, my name is Tom Coffing, better known as Terra Tom because I've taught so many Terra Data classes over the years, but we're here for SQL Server, and I love SQL Server. I was asked to do an advanced stored procedure class for a client, and I thought, yikes. You know, we learn SQL, and we learn the basics, then we learn how to join tables and subqueries. We start to learn about how to use dates, and then derive tables, temporary tables, you know what I'm talking about, and then, of course, the ordered analytics. But then they get to the stored procedures, and you go, this is really tricky. I am going to start you off with the basics of how to create a stored procedure, how to execute it, how to change it, all of the things up to the most advanced stored procedure stuff you're going to do. So let's get started. Let's first learn how to create a simple stored procedure on SQL Server. We're going to create our first stored procedure. I'm going to use the use command. So this sets the default database where this will be stored. Now, the first words, create procedure. I'll give it a name. I'm going to even put the schema in of DBO, which will resolve things a little bit faster as. Now, all I have to do is actually run an SQL command to create a very simple stored procedure. I'll use the Nexus to do a quick select right clicking on the table name. And I'm going to change it and put an order by statement in. And that's going to be it. So let's order by class code. We will now create the stored procedure. It has been created in the database SQL class under the schema DBO. It's that simple to create a store procedure. Now this is actually a program that's been compiled. You will execute it to actually run this store procedure and there are multiple ways to do that. Let's check it out. There are three ways we can execute this and run it. EXEC, the name list students, and there it goes. It just ran the SQL command for me and delivered the output. I can actually type in the entire word execute and the name and it's going to do the same thing. It's run it a second time. Notice I have result one and two and I can take out the execute and actually just put the name in and run it and here you go. We ran it three times, three different ways and that's how you create a very simple stored procedure. But put your seatbelt on because we're going to show you a lot more advanced features. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.